Yes, children. Now here in this question also, if we notice, LHS and RHS. LHS has cosine, RHS has cosecant and cot. And the main thing to notice on LHS, numerator and denominator. Are they the same number of terms? Yes, yes, yes ma'am. Ma are the terms also same? Cos, sine, and one. Irrespective ma'am, they are same irrespective of sign. Yes. yes, irrespective of the signs. So we are going to apply the same trick. When numerator and denominator is same, same means same number of terms, same terms as well, irrespective of the sign. We multiply and divide with the change in sign of the denominator. But beta, here one confusion is there. There are two signs. So which one to change? We will change only one sign, that is for sure. We will not change both the sign. Which one to change? So by the trigonometric ratios, hai, they will be one family. If they are very smart, when huh? someone a member of so this becomes his one family. In, in an idea of place, you may be fighting with your siblings, brother, sister, you know, that sibling fight is always on, irrespective of your age. And yes, that is fun also. That is fun also. But the moment a guest will come, you will behave very nicely. Yes, we are very good siblings. Yes, ma'am. Each other. We are yes, sharing a very good bond. Right? So that is obvious. Okay. So same way here, these trigonometric ratios are very smart. Very smart. As soon as they will find some external member there, they will club together. They will behave as a team. They will behave as a team. So what we are going to have with us is in the LHS beta, cos a minus sin a plus one. I don't have anything to do with this. In the numerator, I will put them as a team. I will put them as a Team. So they will be behaving as one unit. Take care. So that obviously gives you an idea that the sign of which will be changed. Um, one. Yes. So we do cos a plus sin a plus one. Then you are multiplying cos a plus sin a plus one. Are you with me, children? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. yes. So this is how it is going to be done. Now, in the next step, please be careful. I just suppose, suppose after denominator put that like this. Minus one plus sign. You don't have to get worried in that case. Whatever is here, you will rearrange these terms. You will bring sign cos and minus one, and then you will rearrange. That is obvious. You know, we can always rearrange the terms, taking care of their sign, right? Now, what next? We will simply be multiplying these two, numerator with numerator, denominator with denominator. Now, see, children, if you notice the denominator, this thing I am taking as A, so this will also become A, this is your B. So A minus B, A plus B. What does it become? A square minus B square. A square minus B square. B square. So we should have cos A plus sin A whole square minus one square. G beta? Is that okay? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'm focusing ma on the denominator first. It will be better if we just solve one by one. So let us solve the denominator first, then we look for the numerator. Now, A plus B whole square. What is A plus B whole square? A square plus 2AB plus B square. B square plus, plus B square. Plus B square. Plus B square. AB. Minus 1. Minus 1. I'm writing here. A plus B whole square is A square plus B square plus 2A. So this is what I'm using here. And here I have used is equal to A square. Now children, what is cos square A plus sine square A? One. 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 This is one. 
This is plus one. M one. Minus one. Plus one minus, minus one. one. Zero. Cancel. Zero. So what are we left with in the denominator? Two sine cos. Two sine cos. That is the simplified version of the denominator. We can't simplify it further. Is it okay, children? I'm repeating from the beginning so that you know what we have done. Since the terms in the numerator and denominator were exactly same, irrespective of the plus and minus sign, we did the rationalization sort of thing. And for doing that, trigonometric ratios will behave as one unit. They will be one family. So it all depends on the sign of the number. Since it was minus, we took plus plus. Now in the denominator, it is of the form a minus b, a plus b. So this becomes a square minus b square. And then cos a plus sine a square would be a square plus b square plus 2ab. Now cos square plus sine square is 1. This 1 minus 1 gone. So we are left with 2 sine a cos a in the denominator. Is it fine, children? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma Let's look at the numerator. Now, numerator, these three terms will be multiplied with these three terms? Yes, ma'am. Yes? Yes, ma'am. So, you may multiply each term of this bracket with each term of this bracket? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes? yes. One way. Another way is you rearrange. You do some sort of rearrangement. You can rearrange if you want. Can you bring cos a plus 1 together as one unit minus sine a? Here also yes, cos a plus sine a as one unit. Ek tarika yes, hai. Another method is you multiply each term of this bracket with this. I am multiplying each term because many a time children get confused rearranging. So cos a into cos a would give you? Cos cos into sine a. Sine into cos. Cos a into one. Cos a. Then minus sine a into cos a. Minus. Minus cos a. Minus sine a. Minus sine into sine a. Sine square. Minus sine square. Minus sine. Sine into 1 is minus sine. Minus, minus sine. sine. Then 1 multiplied by the entire bracket. So it would be plus cos a plus sine a plus 1. Okay. Simply multiplied each term of first bracket with each term of the next bracket. Now here children cos a sine a minus cos a cancel. Yes. Minus sine a and plus sine a. Cancel. Okay. Now see what is left with you. So I have cos square in plus this one I'm writing and this minus sine square in together because I know it will help me with something. And then this cos a and cos a, this becomes two cos. A. Two cos. Okay. Now, children, what is 1 minus sine square a? Cos, cos square. Cos square. Cos square. Now, cos square a plus cos square a gives me? 2 cos square. 2 cos square. Plus? 2 cos a. I mean, four of the board for space coming, so I'm just writing. Anything that can be taken common in the numerator? Two. Two cos. Two cos. What is left? Cos a plus one. Plus one. Divided by two cos a sine a. Now two cos a and two cos a would get? Cancelled. 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 You are left with? You are left with? Cos a plus 1 by cos sine. Plus one upon sine. Cos a plus 1 upon sine. Children, can we write it as cos a upon sine a plus 1 upon sine a? 
Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Now, what is cos of cot sine? Cot. Cot A. Yes, ma'am. Cot A. Cot A. Cot A. Cot A. Got it? Cos A. Plus cos A. Which is equal to R H S? Hence, two. All right. 